states are allowing fentanyl test strips as a tool to prevent overdoses. It's because there's been an increase, of course, of fentanyl overdose deaths all across the nation. And you can see the spike over the past several years. Our D.C. correspondent Tom Dempsey is live with those changes. Tom, what do we know? Well, Nicole, to put this crisis in perspective, data actually shows that fentanyl-related deaths actually accounted for more deaths of Americans under the age of 50 last year than any other cause of death. Now, special test kits that could maybe curb these numbers are getting both supporters and some opposition. Can I pour you a beer? Inside the Good Hop Bar in Oakland, California, customers can find these test kits inside of the bathrooms. Owner Melissa Meyer says anyone thinking about using drugs can use them. Being able to, to offer them a check to keep them alive, um, it's a kind of a no-brainer. The use of fentanyl test strips continues to grow around the country, with 19 states passing legislation allowing for free distribution, while other states like California work to craft new laws. Access comes at a crucial time, as CDC data showed 70,000 people died from fentanyl last year, with three out of four overdose deaths in teens blamed on the drug. So we're just going to... Uh... Check and see what they have going on here. Allison Heller and Dean Schultz co-founded FentCheck, which provides the rapid test strips which can detect fentanyl and other drugs to anyone wanting them. With more states allowing for the tests to be used, the two hope more places stock up in hopes they can save lives. Allowing these to be in bar bathrooms, in tattoo parlors, um, in, on college campuses allows it a lot like a condom. If you have this on you, it's not encouraging you to make a decision. It just keeps you safer. But not everyone agrees, with opponents arguing the test strips could encourage drug use. I just don't think it's a good policy to make it easier for people addicted to drugs to use drugs. I'm really not for needle exchange programs either. In the meantime, Fencheck plans to keep handing the tests out. Citizen. Hoping to make a difference in the fentanyl crisis. Until there's a bigger resolution around fentanyl itself, we have to address the epidemic. S scientists say fentanyl can be up to 100 times more powerful than morphine. And Nicole, to put this crisis further in perspective, CDC data showed that uh, fentanyl overdose deaths among teens tripled from 2019 to 2021. Yeah, an absolutely terrifying drug. All right, Tom, thank you. Thank you for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.